Hello guys and welcome to episode 42 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign playing as the Sister Twilight leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to the world Sister domination. Today we're going to be first of all moving the Sister Twilight themselves. Uh, we're going to be continuing our way towards Nurgle. We said last time that we would be attacking them but then we got carried away elsewhere. But they are going to be our first move today. I might as well just march them as far as I can. Now let's head over to Othiodai. Othiodai could go forward towards Kragoth Deep. And we've also got Dark Weaver Catra. Catra is enraged to attack Hagrif. Let's go for Kragoth with Othiodai. Oh, there's a big army here. A pretty chonky army. Am I in range of the garrison here? Cease this. Hopefully not, because that could be a bit awkward. Although, saying that, it looks like they've just taken that back. So that's okay. I think Othiodai's army should be absolutely fine to deal with this. And yeah, we can have Catra deal with Hagrif. So it is going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Let's have a look at the map. The problem we have is the walls. If we continue the siege, let me just check the level of walls. Okay, they haven't upgraded the walls. So that's good. Right, we should be fine to just play this out. The reason I don't want to probably auto-resolve this one is because that big army. I'm not sure if it has range to attack this army. So if we would take a period victory and then we didn't have like that many forces left, it would probably screw us over. So better safe than sorry. We'll just play this out quickly. I'm just not convinced that the Zotes are very good at like charging through the gate. Like Zotes in general, I find are so much worse than Treekin. Although saying that, I guess only Treekin and Treeman armies. Because Treeman and Treeman armies, or Treekin and Treeman armies, are really strong. Mainly due to the ward save that they get. Okie dokie. Looks like there's not any towers like on the far side here. I think we'll just attack there. It's actually really nice. And yeah, we'll just come in from this side. And we'll probably just fire these over the walls. She's not on a eagle, so she can just come with us to the gate. That is fine. And if they're not going to cap that tower, what we can do is just move the glade guard up like this. And then we can just fire over the wall. I might have these just fly inside. I uh, will dump our ability down and then we'll go for that tower at the back. God, look at all of those zotes just piling into the gate. Those black art corsairs. Yeah, not doing great on the walls there. Right, we'll do guard. We're gonna fire up and over onto the dark shards. Take them out. And we're gonna use our abilities here to hit the shades and the dark shards and we're going to go straight for that tower right, in we go
I'm just going to put the Dwellers Blow on that one that's close to the wall because I don't think we're going to be able to hit them very easily. We can do a salt stone here. It. And I'll pop down a bit of shades on this side. Of Ready and able. Right, we can definitely do earth bloods from these, so let's just keep our people healed up. Zotes. So this will be over relatively quickly at this rate. Should be using the physical resistance on these. to make sure they aren't taking unnecessary damage. That's the unit of Blackguard, which is why they're doing a decent amount of damage here. Definitely put down a pit of shades on those. I'd like to get range onto those dark shards. What I'm going to do with the earth bloods we have left is we'll use them on the treeman. Get him topped up a bit. I don't know if you can stack them. Like if it makes it go faster if you stack them. Or whether or not it's just worth waiting for them to be finished with it. Surely we've almost killed everything. Forever loyal. Your command. There we go. Pesky Dark Elves. Get rid of them. Oh, that is a chunky amount of money. So we take that. Thank you very much. 70,000 in the bank. Don't mind if I do. So we can still go through to Arcane Conduit, so let's do that. And... Yeah, her army is actually relatively healthy. Like some of the Zotes died, but it's okay. Uh, with Findol, he was trying to deal with Bretonia, but they suicided. So we'll just come down to deal with my way. our good friend Gorok. Proud son of Go over to Orion. And he can take Bilius Cliffs away from Hag. Well. Or from Haggrief, from Tong, but we'll put us next to Haggrief. I will just occupy that. Thank you. Let's see. Next, we have a Lendling. A Lendling's moving towards Numas. We'll colonize this. We'll attack Sinch over here. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, they're at war with Sinch as well. 
So they might beat us to it. Earth, you can head down to the Temple Avenue. Oh, Ryan did actually level up. Missed that. Okay, moving on to Daith. The Daith can just go round to the Tower of Gorgoth. We could just underway next to it. Proud son of Let's do that. At your service. Orliaruth. She can finish off the army that attacked her previously. The Throg's the army. Let's finish those off. And, and I'll just take the physical resistance buff. And then we're going to carry on towards Rolfjord. Zoom up there. We're going to be pretty close, I think, to taking out Norska or Wintertooth once for all. We have Beastbinder Milana here. She can probably move, actually. We'll send her down to Serpent Jetty. We'll be taking Trollfjord, and I think that'll be it. We just colonize these two, and then most of Norska's in our hands. Just got to deal with this little bit over here. Anyway, moving on, uh, let's just upgrade Dodan and head over to Dryka. Dryka, I might actually send her back up towards Titan's Notch, because I think the best thing for me to do here, if the Heralds of the Tempest aren't going to take it, Let's take that for ourselves, go down to Yeti Peak, and then come round towards like the Vale of Titans, and then sweep back this way just to clean this up. I think that's a more methodical way of doing it. Because I don't want armies of the Greenskins popping up behind me, that would be really annoying. I will just do Obscuring Canopy. Uh, for Arden, he's going to World Roots over to Karakdum. We got all the Aruths. Going to be heading over to the Altar of the Crimson Harvest. Ara. I think we just need to recruit some extra troops into his army. Like more Trekin and stuff would be fun. Maybe we should go make these like eagles or something. Like that would be cool. Just get like a bunch of eagles. <laughs> sure because I mean at some point we can grab the wisdom of the eagle lords <laughs> I mean we can do that now at some point I think we'll see alright over to Othiodai let's finish off the college of pyrotechnics this should kill them off once and for all finally I no longer have to worry about that. And from there, we're going to be heading south, so let's come down. Right, let's have a look at Teveril. Teveril's going to be moving on towards the Dreadfleet. I would just come on water here, go get some fell cargo. To the shell and join in this army of Arden. Is that my second Arden? It is. <laughs> okay. Any other buildings that I need to do? I will just pop Waystone in there. I think we'll just do waystones in general because it helps us defend whenever we have like random annoying armies behind us and I don't think we need the extra income anymore like we're probably going to start raising things more often to get extra money let's move on to the next turn our oh, sisters got the supervisor trait after all this time how did they not have that yet 
Uh, we can't do this, I don't think, because it would affect our reliability rating, so we're just going to decline that. And we have Corvass coming at me. Alright, here comes his beast army. Is Corvass beast binder? Been pretty badass actually on his manticore. Jump on in and fight this out manually. I think most of my dryads will probably get killed off in this battle, but otherwise it will be okay. Alright, so what we're going to want to do is come up to the top right here and deploy as far forwards as we can. Have my Treeman with them. He can just fly around. She's got to be careful of that dude on his manticore though, because that would be very bad if he were to attack us. But off we go. Out of the trees we run. I'm gonna give them a lot control group. We're just gonna rotate the army. And we'll be fighting downhill, which will be good because we'll get the height advantage. We want to just get in and amongst them. They do have some ranged units that we're going to want to make sure we get on top of. Although we should have amazing resistances against ranged in general. But I think they're specifically targeting my lord. Which is a bit annoying. Let's take these out of the group. And we're just going to charge on in. So I want him to land. Good. Alright, we're gonna target him. He does land. He hasn't landed yet. It's okay. Now he's landed. Alright, kill him. Meanwhile, I will be dropping more flock of demons over here. You can see my dryads getting absolutely diced. The dryads are in a bad position because of the Blades of the Blood Queen and the uh, Nagarond boys. <laughs> Black card of Nagarond. I'm going to pop down a Dwellers Below. And honestly, I might have her dive into the Reaper Bolt Thrower just to stop that firing. The other thing I can do is get another Block of Doom down. Seems like the Dwellers Below did its job. Good deal with the Bloodrack Medusa. Go hit her. Now, all my Treekin and Treeman are absolutely fine. They're barely taking any damage at all. <laughs> nice damage. Nice damage. Upgraded Flock of Doom, let's go. Lots of juicy damage. How much damage has she actually done? Like 20,000? Two Flock of Dooms? Not too bad. Just 
Nice. Got him. Some of these have taken damage. I'm going to walk back over here with my leader. We'll do an extended lifeblood, earthblood, just to heal up a bit. See if we can finish these off. I'd like to take out the monsters if I can. I can give her, like, Winston's Wild Form so she does more damage. Hopefully that will help her finish him off. Good. Goodbye, Calabdis. That's actually probably one of the strongest armies we've faced in a while. Like, the Dark Elf armies can be pretty brutal to fight, but when you've got loads of Treemen at a really high level and Treekin that have crazy missile resistance, yeah, you're good, generally speaking. <laughs> Let's just take replenishment because we're going to need to attack Kragothip, and I assume they're just going to go back there. <laughs> I love the way we've taken this element, and Malice is like, please have peace with me. <laughs> Please, Orion, stop. I, I don't want a military alliance with you, Camry. I actually want to kill you. you meet with the emissaries of a this is another one that we should probably just kill. Speak quickly. Fear not. Everybody wants to just be friends. Well, they don't. That's fine. And they don't either. Okay, cool. I mean, that's fine by me. Gives me more enemies. I feel like we're getting to a point now where we're going to have to start to Cheers attack our allies and, and stuff. There's another enemy. We can go deal with her with Dirthu. Should we kill them, sister? Stay your bl On behalf of the Mage Queen. And the Wardens of the Living Pools. We definitely don't want any relations with them because we want our tree. Confederation, that's good. Our gold tooth has been destroyed, that's good as well. Isha the mother is done. Tribe slaughter. Who does that belong to? Ah, oh, we can take that, sure. Oh, we do want to spend our amber now. Since we are going to have an army with eternal guard. I think I'm going to go for wisdom of the oak. Income from settlement buildings plus 10% will be a nice boost. And expert charge of defense for eternal guard units will be nice as well. Alright, time for the Sister of Twilight to do their thing. Uh, Kugaths come around here in March start. Ooh. Well, we'll definitely go and attack him. This should be a fun battle. Oh, I've got a trick up my sleeve for this one. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're probably going to focus down Kugath. He has 14,500 health. I am curious if we can just kill him in one blow with the volley of Kurnus. It will also be extremely fun to try out. Right, let's just split these into two groups that we normally do. I uh, will have one group over here, one group over here. And then we can get them into range and fire. Although they're probably already in range. I'm going to hide these in trees. Let's just go and put them over here. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Now. 
What's the range on this thing? A little bit worried about those trees, actually. Let's just go more to the right. I think he's waiting for his reinforcements, so we're not in a big hurry here. Actually, let's make these a bit more tight in formation. And let's do it. Oh, there we go. Wait, why did that miss so bad? All the ones from these guys really sucked. What happened there? We completely whiffed. That was... Oh, was shameful. Absolutely shameful. Alright, what we're going to do then, uh, we need to go kill this uh, soul grinder as well, so let's just go fly over them. And we'll focus him down. And these ones can focus down Kogath. Uh... Sister Twilight, please don't friendly fire. It's annoying. Sent by Orion. Awaiting orders. Right, you lot can kill Kugath for us. Let's just kill Kugath first. Let's see the damage come in there. He's just so big, you know. Yep. See ya. Alright, kill off that, please. The soul grinder of Nurgle. Ugly beast it is. And it's gone. Good. And now we can just focus down the rest. I don't think there's really any ranged units left. Exalted Plague Bearers, they've got to go. Target those. We do have extra shots left. I can also start doing damage with the sisters. Uh, we'll put them on fire at will. We stand ready. Armed and ready. Hunters. For Apple Lauren. Dickwood man. Very good. Nurgle is awful against an army like this. They just they can't do anything at all. There's nothing they can do. The way that these fire is really weird. I think it's because maybe they're on a hill or something. Yeah, it might be because they're firing from the cliff there as well. Ah, uh, we should target the Chaos Sorcerer. Let's just kill him. And goodbye. <laughs> it's like trying to run away. He just can't. Right, the other thing I can do in the meantime is just drop down some pit of shades and stuff. Are they gonna dodge that? Right, let's just speed things up. Let my units use their ammo. 
And it should be over shortly. I think they're spreading out to find my hidden units, but... Yeah, it's already over. Uh, he was in March stance, wasn't he? Oh, I guess the main thing is just... Yeah, it's, we just got to kill off these uh, spawn of Nurgle. We'll just take off. Have our ranged forces come over and shoot those. The ones that have ammo left. I guess technically the sisters can shoot them all individually. that one left. There we go. At once. Got him. Goodbye Kugath. As easy as that. Got 14,000 for winning that. Actually quite nice. Uh, we're going to take Nostra's Grace as well. That will pay off our turn's income. Did I say outgoings? Because it's not really uh, <laughs> incoming anymore. We're just running on a deficit constantly. Anyway, nicely done. Uh, let's see. Fight, Probably just head towards Pig Barter. No. I don't know if this oh. needs finishing off. No. Hopefully not. But the AI might just fail me, because AI be like that. Right, Othiodai, take your prize. Good job, old chap. We can get exotic animal train, uh, exotic animal tamers there, so I will take those. I should be able to finish this off with Catra. Very good. I'll just take the money. And we'll head over to Hagrif next turn. Reload time reduction on the army is probably not a terrible idea. Because it is primarily Glade Guard. Although this army is Potentially one of my weakest armies, because I feel like the Zotes just aren't that good. They need better support. They need, like, Way Watchers, really. Something like that, that can kill stuff that they hold down quickly, because what makes the Zotes so strong is the abilities that they have. And if you don't kill the enemy before their abilities run out, then the Zotes die. Alright, Axolotl, does it have walls? It does not. So, we should be okay to use Findal here. That's a reinforcing army as well. Interesting. Let's see how this goes. With a map like this, it's going to be extremely one-sided. We just got to get our zotes to hold the front line with our war dancers, and then we'll just pop a bunch of archers on each side. Got group two, group one, put them on guard. We'll have the crossbows just sit at the back, our token crossbows, and. The best ability here we have for AoE. Is it really Penumbral Pendulum? Awakening of the Wood maybe as well? Battle ready. Mm, okay. Archers ready. Well, let's for just the move these forwards. Because they can basically be pre-positioned. And we can then move forwards. The Zotes. Orders. The forest wills it. 
There's an ancient salamander there that's already dead. Good start. I'm targeting Gorok here. Look at how brutal this is. Oh my. Right, they finally reached us. Use flesh to stone. Defenders of Apple Warren for Ariel. Honestly, Penumbral Pendulum might be fine. May as well. The nice thing about the spells in this case is it takes away their shield and barrier. I should be targeting their ranged units at the back. Because those are the ones that have clear lines of sight. And the key here is just do as much damage as we can. As quickly as we can. We get a breath attack on the Sara Spears. Good. I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna drop. Stand your ground. And we're gonna do Helmer Discord. And I might start attacking Gorok. A little bit risky. Gorok's really good in melee. Oh, the Lizardmen getting absolutely deleted here. It's a massacre. A branch wraith can come help out. We should also be using the heal on these. Like, I could have lifeblooded these a lot to stop them from dying. Okay. Now just keep firing. Oh, they are screaming. It shall be done. <laughs> Why are they screaming so much? We will have Great Lord of Athel Lord. Way watchers. For Kernos. Okay. Let's get across here. Nice. And Dreaming Ring. And we can actually use Earth Blood on him as well. Although Dreaming Ring is really strong. Basically healed him to full anyway. Alright, 
we used up all our ammo pretty much. Did I forget about my crossbowmen? Did they just do nothing that entire time? <laughs> it's okay. They can take a break. That was the largest massacre of Lizardmen I think I've ever seen. Let's take that and we're going to put a waystone in there. Now we have expert charge defense. <laughs> Not sure that's very useful on a flying dragon, but I'll take it, I guess. How can I assist you? With that done, we just sweep through his lands, take everything he's got very quickly. Let's go bottomless quiver. Actually, you know what? We're going to do expeditious endeavor first. Because he was, his base speed is already pretty fast on his dragon. If he's faster. Yeah, great. Ah, uh, let's upgrade the Penumbral Pendulum. We did use it. So, we'll upgrade it. Alright, over to Orion. Uh, Aerial's leveled up. Start putting the points into Mentor, I guess. Orion. And we're going to want to attack these armies. A black rock. If I can, I probably attack the one at the back here to pull them all out. Because there is going to be a decent garrison here as well. The Maybe fighting them in the settlement is actually better though. No. Now I think about it. This because we have Ariel. No. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll attack them outside the settlement. Then we can get our Sister of the Thorn working. But that's it for now anyway. I'm going to leave it here. Because it has been my time. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.